Today, I'm going to talk about the menstrual cycle and autoimmune condition. So let me share a story. When I was out of the luteal phase, this is usually days 19 to 21 of your cycle. And as you grow older and older, you'll feel these cycles even more. And I've noticed after 33, my cycles just got a lot worse and I am just a tired animal. Basically, I cannot do much during my cycle. I have to really take care of my body and nourish it in ways that the average human being may not have to. And one thing I noticed that is that even though I'm off of all medications and I have been for over eight years, is that I still have to be extra cautious during my menstrual cycle because the immune system tends to go down during this time and becomes more so in a inflammatory state. And this kind of opens the doors to any kind of virus or bacteria or anything out there that you may be prone to. One thing I've personally noticed was that when my estrogen levels go higher and my progesterone levels take a dip, my immune system also kind of takes a dip and I have to be extra cautious of where I'm going, who I'm hanging out with, what I'm doing. And um, the last couple times I happened to just be at really large conferences with 8,000 people there. And um, one of the conferences I happened to go was a concert. And they basically, I came home, I was feeling extra sick. I, I didn't feel extra sick at first you feel it that itch in your throat and then you know something's going wrong and then it kind of goes from there so right when I feel that itch in my throat I go get an IV with zinc vitamin C and glutathione and it kind of just simmers away before I actually get sick but you have to catch it that first itch in your throat. Otherwise, you just have to ride it all the way through until it's over. One thing I've noticed is that my cycle also isn't the same as it used to be when I was in my 20s. And I feel a lot more tireder. I cannot do the same types of workouts I used to do in my 20s. I have to give my body time to rest and I have to give my body all of the nutrients it needs. If I were to overwork my body during the times that my immune system goes down, especially days 90 to 21 of my cycle, I would be overdoing it. And that would cause a case for my cortisol levels to rise. That would also get my thyroid to go back down again, my T3 to just not work as it always does. And my metabolism would take a complete dip. I have to really watch my thyroid levels. I have to watch all my hormone levels levels, especially during the time of my menstrual cycle when everything is just kind of shifting. And as you grow older, you'll see the biggest shift from 33 through 36. And nowadays, it's like I'm having to rest a lot more. And before I was really not as affected, I would be able to run, I'd be able to work out, I would not be affected by my cycle at all. So if you do live with autoimmune, whether you're on medication or not, it is really important for you to take care of yourself during your cycles. Because if if you happen to be at the wrong place at the wrong time, and that was my case, I got COVID and I had to be down for the count for at least a month before I fully recovered, got my energy levels back, got my body back into a place of homeostasis again where I could function the way that I used to. So if you don't have time to be down for the count, I definitely didn't. I am extra cautious when I am going through my menstrual cycle, especially the days before it, because I know that is when my immune system goes down and that is when I really have to take care of my body more so than the other days. So I hope this helps you and see you at Heal Data Health.